<laughs> Let's go to Ari, who's calling us with another dating question. We got a lot of dating questions. By the way, all of you singles, um, I did write a book on this, How to Get a Date Worth Keeping. How to Get a Date Worth Keeping. Notice two phrases because there's only two problems you can have. You're either not getting dates or the ones you're getting are not worth keeping. <laughs> so that's what the book is about. And um, we're actually going to have a, 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 a workshop on this. I don't know if we put the sign-ups yet, but watch for it on boundaries.me. It's going to be at the end of March. We're going to be having a two-hour dating workshop on this whole program. Okay, Ari, welcome to the program. How can I help you? Hi, thank you. Well, I'm hoping that can give me some clarity on possibly putting the stop button or the pause button on continuing to get the numbers up. Um, yeah. Starting <laughs> Wait a minute. Yeah. <laughs> Question. Why would you put the pause <laughs> button on it unless you found Prince Charming? <laughs> well, here's the thing. Every time you're okay, going, I'm so tired. I'm you were talking. I'm tired. I can't have one more <laughs> dinner. Oh. Uh, my word it's exhausting my champagne life and lobster dreams are exhausting like it's it's it, and i'm not kidding <laughs> and what is exhausting gifts, you you, you went out on me there what what is exhausting it's 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 a constant whining, whining dining i mean like i don't know if you heard that i've been sent first class ticket to go on dates because i'm in another state I gifts galore. Um, I mean, I get gifts before I even go on the date. So it's always like fun and exciting until they they don't think the way I'm thinking on this program with you. Because I was the coupling girl before. Like, ah. first guy, they'd fall in love, want to marry me. Yeah, that I was totally her. And I'd go, oh, yeah, I can make it work. If well, did, I had did you get, before I met did you get, dad, I'm sorry? Did you get married a hundred times? At twice, practically. <laughs> oh, you did? Like really fast. I got married. Um, no, not that fast. Well, the first one I guess was. I was young and it was just young, dumb love. Um, and it turned out to be very unhealthy kind of Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde situation. So I when I was able to, I was I did get out of that. Um and then the you know what? You know what, Ari? That, that that's just. Uh, I'm going to interrupt you for a second, just to let other people learn from you. Um, you said Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. Here's a little piece of advice, and as you learned, it's really good to marry one person, not a multiple <laughs> personality in one body, right? <laughs> You'd like to kind of yeah. marry one guy, like that's him. Like you it know, or not like it, stuff, that's, that'd be great. Marry one, or, or, or at least the number should, the number of people you marry should equal the number of bodies, right? At least, at least one yes. body shows up, just one guy, one guy. <laughs> so, so very true. So had, what's your question? Had I read your book prior, I wouldn't have had the other two husbands, by the way. I mean, just straight right. out, absolutely real. Yeah, absolutely. so thank you. Absolutely. So what's your question? <laughs> okay, so now I'm on the flip side of it. I'm literally to the point because I, I have um, older boys uh, or young men, I should say. So my 19 year old is going, mom, I, before I was thinking you would move too fast with someone. Now I'm thinking, I don't know if you'll ever get married. You're having too much fun. Well, and are I you? Kind of, I see that. Wait a minute. I'm Wait a minute. a lot of fun. You are? I'm having What's a the... fabulous time. Give me but a it's problem. Tiring. I don't have a problem yet. Okay, the pro you're telling me what? that you're okay, having the time okay. of your life. You're enjoying a lot of different people and experiences. And you call a you yeah, call a problem a problem line? Here, okay, here's my problem. Here's your Maybe problem. A you, problem. Here's you don't problem. understand that fun's not something to, to be cured of. I think that might be your problem. Oh. That's kind I of mean, profound if you knew me, yeah. Well, all right, so what, okay. what's the problem here? Why are you in a hurry? The problem is I am seriously feeling like a floozy at this point because I schedule so You're many feeling back, like a what? Dates. You're feeling like a what? Did you say a floozy? floozy? Like <laughs> Floozy. <laughs> yes. well, what is it? Like, you know, you is... know they say like, <laughs> like loosey goosey, like not mind you, I am not like, I am not cashing any checks. I'm not. <laughs> 
I'm not putting a down payment on the car, like you say, none of that's happening. But these men don't know, and they do know that I'm dating. Actually, several of them, I share with them your book, and they are now part of the program. I'm so excited for them. (laughs) What's the problem? The ones that aren't and that I would like to get to know, they go, you know, it just sounds like I'm your second, third, fourth person in line and I'm just trying to be number one. And 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 literally my response wants to be, no, 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 get your numbers up. Like, but I don't know, I can't say that. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Stop, 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 stop. How do we even get into that? How do we get into that conversation? You sit them down and give it a seminar and saying, you know, I'm going out with you, but I'm I'm looking yes. at this side here. Oh, hang on, I got five more. That uh, hold on, yeah. Uh, I'd like my salad. Uh, hold on a second, Joey. Hey, <laughs> should I? Hey, Tom, should I go out with Joey over here? Tom says it's good. Is that what you're doing? Um, they do know that I say I'm actively dating, and I'm actually That's working fine. a program out that has turned my life upside down. I used to date for marriage, and now I just I date to learn about others and myself, and it's very okay. freeing. Okay. And they look so, at me like, all right, just, just, just stop, stop. Part. Hang on, stop. I'm going to make this very simple for you. Okay? Are you ready? <laughs> yeah, more than. Okay. Yeah, I, I, um, you know, just, I, I I got out of a, you know, I got out of a marriage and I'm just, you know, I'm I'm meeting a lot of people and I'm trying to figure out, you know, relationships and life again. So, so, you know, I met you on the site. I'm going out with, with different people. It's really interesting time in my life. Okay. And so now you say, Okay. Oh wait, am I repeating that? Yeah, we are in here. I don't know what we're doing. I'm You're, sorry. Yeah, no, no, no. We're. I'm sorry. We're we're role playing. I'm you. Okay. <laughs> okay. Now you, you. I want you to be the problem guy over here that you're struggling. Oh, with, okay, so. okay, okay. I got it. Okay, okay. I'll be. Yeah, the guy. I'm going out with a lot I'm of. I'm on board. I'm on board. Yeah. Um. Uh, well, it sounds like all you want to do is have fun, and I'm really looking at wanting to meet just the one. So. Can you just focus on me? Can we focus on each other? I really think that this can go somewhere. Yeah. What day? How many times have How many times have we seen each other? I don't think it matters at the time that we've seen each other. It's really about the time that we spend in conversing, and we both love God, and I really feel like God no, is calling us to be together. Oh, I'm not kidding. Well, but, my but literally, literally, yep. and I'm sorry, Tommy, I've forgotten because I am going out with 63,000 people. Um, how, how many, to, how, what, what number date is this? Isn't this our second date? Is that right? Is it our first? I can't remember. Yes. It's our second. This is our second date. And you, <laughs> you want, you want us to be exclusive? Is, am I understanding you right? Yes. Wow. You're you're like, are you clairvoyant? I mean, can you look down the future? To I mean, do you? How would you come to that conclusion so quickly? I'm so curious. Tell me. Oh man, Dr. Cloud, I think that would shut them up. <laughs> Wait a minute. Don't don't jump out of character here. Keep going. Okay, 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 okay. Okay. How did you how did you decide well, I, you want to be serious? Been, so everything I've ever wanted in a woman, you embody. And I've been waiting for someone like you. And I'm not gonna let you go. Wow. I want to be the man, last man that what are, with you. Oh, you want to be the last one? Well, you're totally invited to that party, but you're trying to you're trying to end the party after two days. And listen, pal, I have my my auditions are much longer than you know one cheesy restaurant meal and you dressing up. I don't know if you're I don't know if you're an axe murderer. How do I know? I don't know anything about you. And I think it's kind of weird that you think you know that much about me. 
after two days, can you think I fulfilled everything you want to do? What's my balance sheet look like? How many lawsuits am I in with ex-boyfriends of taking over their possessions after I moved in and put my name and with lipstick on their TV before I boiled the bunny? Do you know that about me? <laughs> okay, I'm not going to lie. I have had that conversation. I have said that. <laughs> you don't even know who the heck I am. I could have like my ex-boyfriend's head in my bedroom right now. You don't know me. That's my Which point. Gives me great okay. concern for you. That's yes. my point. Listen, okay. listen. If that yeah. was, if that's what you're running into, that somebody after <laughs> two dates, after two dates, oh, you're you're everything I ever. I would. I that would be the last date, probably. Because, Gosh. because they're 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 falling in love with a fantasy. I mean, I hope you're not flattered by that BS. No, well, I give them your book, <laughs> and I said I know that you think that, and I used to be like that, but okay, it's, it's not like that. I promise. I'm that's not, a, well. I, that's I that's such a one. that look. That's something. Now, I'm not saying all the time. I'm not saying all the time. There are exceptions that prove the rule. I get it. Okay, but. Also, and this is true, borderline personalities, histrionic personalities, and narcissistic personalities all have a penchant for instantaneous falling in love and idealization. Oh, holy crap. What? Holy crap. If you would have told me that two husbands before, I would not be a divorcee twice. <laughs> oh, damn. Well, I'm telling you that now. So third time's a charm. Wow. Right? So... So look, I don't hear anything in here. I don't hear anything in here that says, you know, I'm going to end it because I'm going to go to that guy. I hear more of an argument for what I'm saying, which is you keep going until somebody shows up that has a level head. So did I answer your question? Okay, that was that gave me a lot more clarity. I so appreciate you. And seriously, that bombshell about narcissistic men Oh, it's so sad because they, they'll idealize. Oh, and they are sprinters. They're just not marathon runners. Mm -hmm. They can obsessively, yeah. and they make a woman sometimes feel so special and so incredible and so wonderful. Yeah. And she's never had that attention before. And now we're down the road when it's a very short road <laughs> until they commit. And then... Is it Mr. Hyde or Dr. Jekyll? Whichever one of the psychos shows up soon thereafter. So there you go. Okay, Alrighty. before you let me go then, now that you said that, wait, wait, don't hang up on me, please. Is there one book that you can tell me or lead me to, to point to that area of my life that I need to clear up? Because I would, seriously, you know what I would, man? Here's yeah. what I would do. If, if you really want to learn about this, I'd go yeah. to boundaries, go to boundaries.me and become a subscriber there. Oh, I have lifetime 80. member. Way ahead of you. I'll okay. All right. Well then, then there you go. Go on there, go on the, on the okay. search functions and just look up, start with your people picker, take the courses on, on improving your people picker, and then also go to okay. safe people. Okay. And then type in narcissism dealing with a narcissist, difficult conversations. Jessica could probably chime in here and tell you five more courses, <laughs> 10 more courses. That you, <laughs> yeah, but I would, I, I would go, I'd go hang around there for a while. Okay. Okay, perfect. Thank you so much, Dr. Todd. All you're right. awesome. Keep doing what you're doing. Keep your numbers up and don't keep doing what you're doing. If you're taking your advice <laughs> from, from, idealizing men who want to fly you across the country and don't even know you and tell you you're wonderful and that they're certain you're the one. Yeah. Don't, don't do that. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Thank, thank you. you bye. For your call.